If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. The next node in the flow category is the flip flop. Let's right click and use it. Flip flop. Here it is. And this node will work something like this. Whenever it gets called, it will run A. Whenever it gets run again, it will run B. If it gets run again, then runs A. Pretty simple, right? How could we use it here? We can change our play pickup sound. And do we have a volume multiplier here? It's really loud, this 0 0.2. I will, I will put it like this. And we can, well, flip-flop between two sounds, right? Sounds like a good idea to have a little, a, a little more spiciness and a diverse behavior, right? So here, I'm gonna copy and paste the same thing. And instead of using the explosion cue, there was a collapse one that it was also too loud but with the volume multiplier we should be fine so let's try it play nice and we can we can see the execution here let's try it again and now it's different pretty cool right something to take in account because otherwise this video would finish. The flip-flop doesn't save states, like global states. If I use this one, the other one, then it will also play the explosion. And if I escape from it, I, if I close the, the execution and then play it again, it will always run A. So whenever this blueprint gets created, it will always run A first. And if we wanted to know which one is running, then we could use this output pin to know if we're running A or if we're running B. Just to take in consideration when using flip-flop. It isn't the state base, like it only cares of the, the run, uh, the first run, right? So, if we are trying to toggle visibility using flip-flop and your visibility isn't in the right state, then it will won't work like you expect it to. But for simple stuff like this, it's really easy to use.